Hey Tom, we're going to start a little bit differently today. I'm behind the camera, so the lens won't crack. Uh, Tom's going to kind of put together something for you that I'm going to play for you in a minute. And um, just some funny stuff that I think we had a we have to put on the show, and then we'll get into other things. Yeah, you won't see this on the Chinese News Network or MSNB, uh, uh, We Hate Trump, or any of that stuff. But this is something we think is very important and needs to be heard. And I think uh, we'll talk about it afterwards, Wayne. Okay, here goes. <laughs> oh, boy. Friend passenger causing sheer chaos in the air. And it got so bad that flight attendants had to duct tape the man to his seat. Ever since masks were required on airplanes, flight attendants say that their work has become downright dangerous. Now understand something. I'm a flight attendant. That means I attend the flights. Sometimes our job has us attending to crazy people. If you push us too far, you're going to have to attend this ass whooping. You see, because on this particular flight, I'm sitting in a jump seat. And I'm just looking at him act a damn fool. He's spitting and cussing and going crazy. I say, that's enough. I got up and I walked over there. And by the way, this man smelled like a pack of Marlboro cigarettes, uh, four shots of Everclear alcohol, and regret. So I know something's about to go down. At this point, he touching all over my co-worker's breast. And where he f***ed up at is when he touched my titties. Because I don't play that. So what I did is I took out the duct tape. I said, K -k -k. he got scared, start stuttering, say, hold up, w -w 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 wait a minute, something ain't right. I said, yeah, we about to m -m 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 mummy by your ass now, boy. So we wrapped him up. Better than any Christmas present you ever see. He won't be coming on no more Frontier flights at all. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That is classic. That guy can be in my foxhole anytime. Kudos, buddy. We are sending him, and we're going to try and find out his location and send him a straight from the hip shirt. I'm wearing one today. God bless him. God bless America, and God bless that guy. God bless that guy. Honest to God, uh, the, the flights, uh, by the way, where are the air marshals? Yeah, we thought there were air marshals, and so. This guy causes havoc. He gropes a female uh, airline attendant, flight attendant, and then uh, causes a ruckus. And the marshal, I guess, what, the marshal's only if you storm well, the cockpit? We talked to a source, that friend of an air marshal, who wanted to re remain an 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 anonymously, no, no, animosity. He wanted us to promise anonymity. Anonymity. That? Yeah. Whatever. No more okay. animosity, just anonymity. That. And he said that they have to protect the sanctity of the cockpit, and he kept doing this. Just kept touching his piece. Yep. Meanwhile, this guy's groping people. Yeah, these these uh, air marshals are are they just there for, there for uh, guys on um, Ali Ali Akbar's? I mean, yeah. death wishes. Can't they get involved with some of this? But kudos to that guy. If I'm on a flight, I agree with him. Well, I'm probably all over. I won't duct tape him. I'll just knock him out. What is going on in the air? You have that lunatic in Alaska that tried to take the, it was a Piper Cub going from a small airport to the bigger one. He tried to take it down and luckily the pilot fought him off. That, I'll throw him out myself. What's going on? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is there something going on in the United well, States Airlines? That's uh, uh wait, 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 wait. Is there anything going on? I haven't heard of this. And by the way, those red states, uh, COVID, uh, and they blame me. It's our leader. But, uh, you know, uh, they say I let people in. But I told them no. I said no, you can't come in anymore, but only the unaccompanied Joe, children. It's time for some uh, haagen -Dazs. Okay, um, can I have a cocoa? <laughs> what a shit stick. I'm going to explain something to you. We played basketball years ago. Some of you guys that watch us and know <laughs> the situation. I'm going to call it the Marchica Theory, all right? We were playing in a league. By the way, we went and spent a lot of money on jerseys. And we get picked to be skins. We're playing the Buffalo Firemen. Wasn't a pretty picture. It was Back then, not as bad. We had a guy on our team named Marchica, we'll just say. <laughs> Let's just say he had a bad go with some hippie lettuce or something. Because they, 
we passed him the ball, he caught it, and then was confused. We were skins, which means shirtless. They had shirts on. Okay? He was confused, and the guy on the other team actually said, here, give me it. Here. The referee, I kid you not, blew his whistle and said, stop that. You're not on his team. The that actually theory, happened. This happened. This yeah. is the Marchica theory. That's what the news and some of our hypocrites want us to think is going on with the minorities in voting. They have no idea how to vote. Right. What's ID? ID? I, I don't vote have ID. In eight hours? Where I, am I? I? I can't vote on a Tuesday between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. By the way, they have 17 free days. They're telling us that this ID to vote is white Race, suppression, race, supremacy, racism. They're, they're holding everybody back. It's Jim Crow on steroids. But yet, the hypocrites that want that yeah. in New York want the minorities and everyone to show a ID that you had a vaccination. So let's think about that. Who is the most unvaccinated population in America right now? Blacks. So what happens in New York City? When they're not allowed to go to a show Applebee's. or a new store or and Applebee's, it's going to be chaos. So they have to have the ID. Now, people are afraid, and it's already starting. They're buying phony vaccination cards online for Black $200, market. $250. Black market, yeah. You can get a real one for free. For free. And be healthy, you know, and not get this. No, but they're putting in chips. And, and shit stick, and I'm sorry, he is a complete and utter shit stick <laughs> is letting people through the border infected they don't know what to do them anymore they're destroying the town of no. midland texas no 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 and they're busing them and flying them through the night to all kinds of places i told them no you have to go back but i take the children now we bus them yeah and they're loaded with covid but the mexican strain will not interfere with our citizens no, these hypocrites are running way too far with it's this. It's absurd. It's totally absurd. It's destroying our country. They now want the American taxpayer to pay the lawyer bills for these illegals when they get court, if they even show up back at court. Right. Because it's too much for the wait pro bono. Wait a minute. Who's going to court? Just the children? Well, and... Because, wait a minute. I, I thought that they were, we were saying, you got to go back. Oh, yeah. well, exactly. And now they want the American taxpayer to pay for that, too. Defunding the police. Now, if you guys want to take a second. Cory Bush. Look at, I'll get to that ass wipe in a minute. Go to the Hungary. They're the only country in Europe that actually put up a wall and it works. It's a chain link fence. Yeah. And you can only come in if you, if you seek asylum and citizenship there. They do it for the protection of their people. And our guy, our shit stick, call him a, say the word, totala. A totalitarian. Thug. The guy just is protecting his people, yep. keeping them safe. If you want to come to Hungary, you can do so by the proper channels. Boy, it works. A novel. A novel they don't idea. have human shit and waste at their border like we do. Because these people come over, they're shitting, and they're leaving all their garbage there. It's a shithole. Literally. You said shit about three times. It, it is. And it's it really isn't funny anymore. So when they hop the fence, they have border patrol there. They bring them in. Once they found out they're they're not they're fingerprinted, they're illegal. They're fingerprinted, they're photographed, they're photographed and they're bye -bye. sent over back over the fence. No, bye bye. Bye bye. You don't come in. And here we're letting them come through. It's destroying our country. Yeah. And the president of Hungary said, "A stronger U.S. U.S. first is better for everybody." For everybody. And he loved when Trump was here. Trump was a narcissist. Trump was a nut on Twitter. However, he governed this nation correctly right. this is a mess and the quicker you look into what is becoming and how quickly we're getting to socialism the better we'll be cuba. unless you want to be a socialist don't cry for me cuba and now cory bush came out she's spending two hundred thousand dollars on her own personal protection because her black body's threatened by white supremacy her black body end her of black it. body's big by the way and i'm done with it i'm done who elects these pieces of shit and they're funding the police. How's that going in St. Louis, by the way? You got Kabul, Baghdad, Somalia, <laughs> St. Louis. Number one, the worst city in the United States for crime now. Shit. Overtook Detroit, overtook Miami. It is a F dump. And she was so threatened on the January 6th. 
She wasn't anywhere near it. She was down the road with the other squad jackasses. But I want a question for you about insurrection. Let me see if I can help you. Federal buildings, chain shut, gasoline poured, the building set on fire, and people yelling, burn, burn, burn. Yeah. Is that not part of an That's insurrection? That's not insurrection. No, if it's BLM or Antifa, see, I don't know if you knew that. But they came out and said, if that happens with BLM or Antifa, that is not a federal crime. Because Cammy bailed them out. Yeah. Um, and by the <laughs> way, George Soros. <laughs> George Soros. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Anyways, uh, some other news and notes. We're going to kind of stick on news and notes. Awesome deal, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Got $258 million, six-year extension. So that's $43 million a year. However, for cap purposes... Uh, it's an average of thirty-six and a half million because this year he makes three and a half. Next year, twenty-three. We've got him for eight years. Great quarterback. Great kid. Good things Great coming. family. Awesome. By the way, new stadium. Um, I'm just. I don't know why they can't renovate Rich, Ralph, whatever. I, you want to call. I, I had a tear yesterday. I was in training for the ushers, and I went in the stadium. I walked around a little bit, and I said, you know, I've been here since 1973. I, they're going to bulldoze this place. And yeah, I'm it's, sorry. It's it, a nice it's a place. Shame, but as far as, you know, uh, we can live without football and we don't have to do this and that, we get our fair share. The other end of the states build a lot of palaces down there. Tons. Stop the bullshit. A lot of palaces, you know. 15, City Field, Yankee Stadium. 15005 for each illegal in New York State, state taxpayer money. All right? Yankee Field, Yankee Stadium, and all those places, the, the Red Rovers, the Mets, all the, they all got state money. Red Rover, Red Rover, led. Exactly. Benji, the Barclays Center, over. which is shaped like an L, now a new palace for the Islanders. The, the rebuilding of Madison <coughs> bit, Round Garden. A little bit upstate. How about it, huh? Right. A little bit this way, too. Um, kudos to our, our reporter and our buddy out in New York, Timmy. Broke the story last year during COVID when he was up here that Michael to the Rangers was something that he thought was going to happen. He, had some inside information there, and mm -hmm. was looking closer and closer that it might be true. Yeah, that's the new rumor. I By the way, Tim, the only guy that ever, ever washed and waxed his car in Times Square. But that's for another show. That's another show. Well, it was empty, right, because of COVID? Well, I, well, but he did it. But he did it. No, I know he did it. Can I ask you, were you guys once homosexual lovers? No, but you just like the to, gap. It's the gap with Gap Brothers. Gap. You both yes. got Gap? Okay. But he's, I, uh, he's No Gap. <laughs> contributor to the show and uh, let's see some other news and notes fall into the gap special shout out happy birthday JP our musician buddy and, <laughs> and Charlie Lagutenstein turns 80 today Lagutenstein um, yeah. some news and notes some wonderful things happening in the Olympics um, the wrestler the, the black girl that won and she loves this country can you believe that I she saw draped that. herself in the flag the sprinters the girl with sprinters the Buffalo ties yeah. uh, awesome um, Cindy McLaughlin my buddy Bill's niece, incredible, awesome. Boy, another world away? record, pulled away, wearing the flag, talking about God. Wait, are we ready? Not only talking about a country, but God. 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 Unreal. Un unheard of. Um, the shot putters, the guy actually threw the thing out of the arena. I had, <laughs> God bless him. It's unbelievable. Um, uh, the one athlete from one of the countries, actually, when she got the bronze medal, she put her hands up and across to, uh, to salute to cross-dressers, which I thought was That's, brought a tear to my eye. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> and um, the one thing that was happening in um, yes. Beach Croquet, it, it was awesome. <laughs> um, the, um, the man, the, the, con the competitor from the island of Manmita, actually <laughs> loaned a pair of his bikini, her bikini briefs, to the uh, other athlete because his package was kind of on display. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Andre, is that, is it, that is true. Competitiveness and professionalism. And Andre and he poured in the storm off, went on to, uh, I think, silver and beach croquet. And that was the island of Manmita? Yes. And uh, it's great, but it's. Uh, and he poured in the storm off? Andre, Andre poured in storm off, actually is competing this year as as a woman. He feels as a woman. Well, he actually competed three years ago as a, as man. a man. And then, then he was a transvestite, and now he's a woman. So he's and trying to win in all three genres. He's, he's really kind of confused about the whole schmeal, but um, he is trying to go on with that. Uh, nice. another, another news and notes. Um, I reported on the news the other day that the uh, bunch of, a, a group of people outside of New York City, which, by the way, is right up next to St. Louis in crime, Hello. barbershop, when two men, masked man hooded, opened fire, shooting 12, one of which was an innocent bystander. How do you shoot 12 and only one's innocent bystander? Did, yeah. did they go rack up the bodies and then say, oh, so you were with the crypt, you are with the blood, you're or not innocent? Or is he laying there saying, no, no, I, no, I swore at him. 
I deserve the right. I deserve to die. I, I, I gave him the finger. By the way, uh, two mopeds didn't show up. The two gunmen jumped on the mopeds and took off. Where is a Joe Christopher when you need him? Oh, wouldn't that be fun? It would just take one. Yeah. Just Get them take scared one. of them. Maybe they'd stay in there. Stop their the crime. You can't. Holes. You know, it's Corey Bush with her black body needs protection. You can't even go to the gallery without getting shot. Actually, the gallery, I think, is that way. Uh, it's time to start finding out when we all can be safe. Uh, anything else in news and notes? Um, gallery, okay. Um, we got a few minutes. Um, Let me set my clock here, and then you can talk more about uh, shit stick or anything you want. Well, it's, you turn on the news and you just get sadder and sadder. The inflation, prices going up. I don't yes, know if it's yes. Last three years. $33 to fill my tank when I bought the car one year ago. $51 yesterday. He wants everybody to have electrical cars Shit, by 2030, yet 30% 30 of people that buy them trade them in within a year. Let's talk about Can't electric cars, please. Let's talk about it. A, we already know. Where are the charging stations? 30 hours to charge. Okay, let's say they fix that. Where do you think electricity is coming from? Okay? It's coming from fossil fuel, nuclear energy. They're shutting that down. A little bit from like the Niagara River, but we take all of ours and give it to shithole downstate and get charged the highest rates in the nation. But electricity has to be, it, it doesn't come out of thin air, all right? And it's got to get tied in. And, it, you know, it, they think that this is going to end everything, but nobody takes it to the next level. I'll tell you what, buy stock and extension cords. Yeah. How far yeah. can you go on an extension? I don't know. They right? have, well, I heard uh, Best Buy was uh, cornering the market on five mile ones for yeah. the long, for the short trips. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's complete insanity. Our czar of weather, who's doing a lot to save us, Carrie, yeah. um, is uh, on his private jet. all over the country with his family. Yeah. And, uh, but that doesn't seem to bother anybody. The Iranians the other day assaulted an oil ship from one of the countries, I want to say Qatar. And something else. Guitar? And, like Eddie Van Halen? Yes. Okay. And uh, the island of Bach. And um, then turn her overdrive? <laughs> yes. And uh, our State Department said, well, we're still willing to negotiate with the Ayatollah. He hates us. Oh my God. No, it's it's scary. But it's a plan. I, I believe it's a plan to d destroy our country as we know it. It is. And I, I actually have trouble sleeping on the weekends when I think of Manmita, a poor little country. Well, it's, but it's produced some very. <laughs> Interesting athletes and very confused athletes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anything you want to wrap up on here? Not really. I think we touched on most of our Good uh, news, news and notes. And notes. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a beautiful day again here. and yeah. About um, 90 degrees. This new variant is coming out. and um, It's a variant. Variant. Is it a variant? Yeah. You have variance. to have a variance to get it? You got to get a variance to put up a roof, but it's a variant. I think we're all going to seriously have to think about a mask for a while. Yeah. Especially going in a store or something. But the vaccine at least keeps you get from getting Nobody super, wants, super sick. Yeah, stay out of the stay off the vent and stop and stay out of the uh, morgue. Okay? Uh, one of the kids, um, dad just passed away, God bless his soul. He suffered for three three months with COVID and uh, what, in his forties? Yeah, very ridiculous. Young, young man. It's People are dying of this, guys. They're dying of it. And this isn't about I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican, as you well know. Right. I'm vaccinated. Are you a Freemason, by the way? I used to be a Freemason, and there's a lot of stories about that. Now, I know you're a landlord. Yes. And quite I get cool. no money. <laughs> I'm no, a, seriously. I deserve no money. You know why? Because I'm a landlord, and I don't have any bills, and these poor people got to live somewhere. I overheard a couple behind me the other night. They were talking about, now they want to give the uh, checks <coughs> to the landlords directly. Uh-uh, they said. Uh-uh, baby. I want to know. No, I got to buy my weed, my Coke. And I got and I the got whole a, deal I gotta get some hey, was pay your pay bill your if you could or at pay least make an attempt to. Landlords have bills and such too. Isn't that section? But they eight? take the money to buy TVs, they uh, it's it's section eight. It's all turning over again. into a welfare Cuba. Cuba. All right, we gotta go. Have Love a good everybody. life. God bless have Josh Allen 12. and the Buffalo Bills. Hope to triple our viewers and yep. uh, that guy from Frontier Air, God bless Oh him. my god, he's my new hero. Mm. <laughs> I, I, he wasn't trying to kiss me. No, I just like the whole theory. Oh, very awesome. <laughs> Anybody see what happened to Blue Lives Matter tonight?